Molly and Tomcat were on their way to Millie's house when they saw Millie's neighbour. Hi, Mr Limpy. Hi, Tacky Bogle. Hi, Molly. Oops. Oh, oh dear. Oh, I'll get them. Thanks, Molly. Is the ground getting further away or am I just getting older? Whoa, that was close. Taffy Bogle loves to run out that gate, especially when there's a cat around. <laughs> Tomcat and I are going to visit Millie and Marmalade. Thank you, Molly. Have fun with Millie. Soon Molly and her friend Millie were back to visit Mr Limpy. Hello, Mr Limpy. Hello there. Freshly shapes. Well, they really are animals. Look, this one's a cat and this one's a dog. Oh, oh. Hey, Daffy, come back. Oh. We'll get him. Taffy Bogle, naughty dog. Taffy Bogle, don't be so juicy. Come here, Taffy Bogle, Taffy Bogle. Oh, you'll have me head over here. Oh, Tommy, stop it. Don't you, Millie? Gotcha. I got him. Sorry, Mr Limpy. We forgot to shut the gate. No harm done. But I think I'll have one of those biscuits now with a nice relaxing cup of tea. Oh. Let me, Mr Limpy. I'll open it. I'm sure they're making doors trickier to open these days. After all the excitement, something began to trouble Millie and Molly. Poor oh, Mr Limpy. Did you see how hard it was for him to open the door while he held the biscuits? Yeah. And when he bent over before, he hurt his back. Jobs that seem simple to us can be hard when you're as old as Mr Limpy. And he has that bad leg. Maybe we could help with some of his jobs. <laughs> Who have we here? <laughs> Millie and Molly's odd job service. Service with a smile. How can I resist an offer from such eager, smiling faces? Oh. Mr Limpy, Mr Limpy, is this you in the photo? When you were younger? Very good guess. Who's the pretty lady? Ah. Now, that's someone very special. It's my wife, Alice. Your, um, wife? Hmm. She died many years ago. Oh. Alice and I would have been married for 50 years tomorrow. It's our wedding anniversary. That's a very, very special day. Wow, 50 years! Did you go to your wedding in a horse and cart? No. We rode a bicycle and Alice sat on the handlebars. Not really, but it was a long time ago. <sighs> I do miss her. But each year, on our anniversary, I remember her by putting flowers in this vase. I gave it to her on our very first wedding anniversary. And now it's all I have left of hers. Yes, it is. That afternoon, Mr Limpy took his usual nap. Sounds like Taffy Bogle is chasing the cats again. Oh no! The gate! decided that there was only one sensible thing to do. Glue the vase back together before Mr Limpy woke up. Hmm. I can see cracks in it. But Mr Limpy might not notice them, especially if he doesn't see it up close. The two friends hoped to put the vase back before Mr Limpy noticed it was missing. Is that you, girl? 
girls. Mr. Limpy! Is that the vase you have there, Millie? I've been looking for it. Vase? Oh, yeah. Can I have it, please? I want to put these flowers in it, ready for tomorrow. Um, why don't you use a different one this year? Yeah. Well, I want to use Mrs Limpy's vase, of course, for our anniversary tomorrow. May I have it, please? I'll fill it for you. But I'd like to arrange the flowers. <laughs> oh, what could possibly have caused that? Uh, Millie, Molly, do you know anything about this? Well, um, sorry, Mr Limpy, but we left the gate open again and Taffy Bogle got out and chased the cats into the house and... And they jumped onto the mantelpiece and broke the vase. Very sorry. Can I ask, why didn't you just tell me? We thought you'd be really, really sad if you knew it had broken. We wanted you to have it for tomorrow. I was fond of that vase, but accidents happen. And I'm fine. Now, where are those smiles? But despite their smiles, Millie and Molly didn't feel much like playing that afternoon. We spoiled Miss Limpy's wedding anniversary, haven't we? Hmm. If only we could do something to make it all better. We can't bring the vase back. Not ever. But we could make him another vase from clay. Are you sure you can't tell me what you need the pieces of broken vase for? It's a surprise. <laughs> Good. I've had it since last year. Oh, it's very lumpy. We don't want a lumpy vase. But there was no time to get new clay. The anniversary was the next day. Millie and Molly worked till late to get the lumps out. Then they set pieces of the old vase in the new vase. What do you think? Mm, I can see lumps. Maybe they'll disappear when we bake it. The girls knew the vase wasn't right, but they had to get some sleep. Molly and Tomcat stayed overnight so they could make an early start. The next morning, Molly had an idea about how to make it look better. Yellow, the best colour of all. If we leave it in the breeze, it'll dry faster. But Millie and Molly's troubles weren't over. There was no time left. They had to give the vase to Mr Limpy just as it was. Lumpy, lopsided and paw printed. Do you think it's good enough to make Mr Limpy's anniversary special again? I hope so. Millie? Molly? Mr Limpy, we've got something for you. Happy 50th wedding anniversary. Well, this is a surprise. Come inside while I open it. Oh! We thought yellow might be your favourite colour. No, blue is my favourite colour. <gasps> so you don't like it? I love it! It's like having the old vase back as well as a new one. And if I remember correctly, yellow was Alice's favourite colour. Thank you, girls. new vase from Millie and Molly on our anniversary. Fifty years and we're still in love. Quick, grab those plates before something else gets broken. Look out! Oh. Ah. 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 Ah.
gate this time. And how did they get in the front door? Uh-oh. I must have left the gate open this time. And the front door. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why cats and dogs can't just be friends. It sure would make life easier around here. Lucky I went out to buy this spring. It could make life easier around here. Oh, now the gate will shut by itself. Try it. Hooray! <laughs> and indeed it did, every time.